Um, this is my second year being in the portable. I used to be located in the 700 building. As time passes by, we as well as structures and buildings age and get damaged. At Boone High School, the 100 building is currently being totally remodeled, moving all teachers in there into portable classrooms. Students aren't completely free from this, as they have to change their routes from class to class. Uh, troubles me. So, so far I'm liking the portable better. First day, loved it. I think it's a new way to grow the campus. Some cons are that the walk is really far from the teacher parking lot. A lot. Really get my steps in. Um, some other cons would be that the air conditioning is kind of in and out. So we were without air conditioning for a whole day. And it was really, actually I'm sorry, a whole week. It was really, really hot. Um, but beyond that, it's not so bad. Um, that doesn't really fare so well with weather such as rain or when it's really hot or especially when it's really cold. And the kids have to walk a little bit further, but walking never killed anybody. Um, and um, we have a bipolar air conditioner heater unit, so sometimes it doesn't work so well, so we have to move into a different portable. But that's about it. One of the big cons is the student parking lot. There isn't nearly as many parking spaces as there was before the portables were there. I think, I think the pros are that, I mean, it's it's making kids walk and it's promoting a healthy lifestyle. It's clean. I'm in one of the brand new ones and it's new. And the shape of it is actually a little bit better than my classroom. It's a little bit wider. Uh, and it also has a closet that used to be a, a bathroom, but they ripped off this stuff because it was like an elementary school bathroom. And now it's a nice big closet that I've never had before. Fewer distractions out here. Um, just the kids seem a little bit more focused. Is that, like I said, it helps expand the school and the amount of people that can go to the school. So, so far I've adapted to the portable by um, having just to adjust the different furniture, the different size of the portable, um, my new neighbors, which is really exciting, but I miss my old neighbors too teachers next to me, but uh, we've adapted pretty quickly. I think that the new route from the portables to the classroom uh, troubles me because it's it's quite a far distance as if it was from classroom to classroom. Uh, you always um, have I adapted to the portable very well. Absolutely. First day, loved it. Um, again, I just, um, I feel like it's my own little world out here and um, adapt it really well and, and you just have to go with the flow, you know, whenever you're moved around different facilities and just, you know, make it yours and you know, just, you know, change is good, and there's always change, so you just keep changing with it, so that's okay. good. Um, we've been in the portable now for two weeks, and so far the students have, for the most part, been on time. I think they should extend the time. Um, there's usually a few stragglers that I think are probably taking advantage sometimes of the situation, but... Um, Sometimes not. Sometimes they actually are running a little late. It's just not enough time. Uh, it's hard for them to go to the bathroom in between classes, especially if they're coming from the art building. Um, so we have to be a little bit more flexible with them coming in a few seconds late. Um, we even try to let them go maybe a few seconds early if we can, um, just to give them that extra walking time. And I, and I mean, really, nobody wants to be running to class. So I feel some sympathy for them because it is quite a far walk for most of the students. I think it's doing wonders for childhood obesity. It's it's actually making making people uh, get more exercise than they would just walking from class to class in the hallways. It's a lot greater walk, and you can you get sweaty. Um, but that's also a good thing. I mean, it's also losing weight, and it's also promoting um, healthy lifestyle. So so far, I'm liking the portable better, um, just because it's new. It's, it's a brand new portable. Um, I feel bad for my students though because I've already had one student miss the bus because it was such a far walk. Um, so I, besides how far it is, I actually really like the portable. It, like, it's a new path to take, but like, it's basically just like the first week of school. Like after the first week, you usually get used to it. Only 
only lim the subject that I teach is limited by the portable just because of space. Um, sometimes, especially if you want to do a class discussion, um, I really like to circle the desk up and so the kids can face each other when they're speaking and inter they can interact a little bit better. So we are limited by the space. Um, other than that, plenty of wall space to put up posters and, and kids, you know, work and stuff like that. So um, probably that's it. It's just the size constraints and my classes are really big. Being in the portable so far has not limited the way that I teach. Um, as long as my students can hear me and we have some sort of space, um, we'll be just fine. I think it's great for um, the, a lot of the underclassmen. I mean, I don't really get to experience it, but it's it's good that um, future generations get to experience the premier high school of Orlando. I think, yeah, I think it will just like help us grow and stuff. What do you mean grow? Like expand, like we could have more people, more places to learn.